Today's scripture reading begins in verse 8 of 2 Corinthians chapter 1. For we do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, of our affliction which occurred in Asia, that we were burdened excessively beyond our strength, so that we despaired even of life. Indeed, we had the sentence of death within ourselves, so that we would not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead, who rescued us from so great a danger of death, and will rescue us, he on whom we have set our hope, and he will yet deliver us. If you also join in helping us through your prayers, so that thanks may be given by many persons in our behalf for the favor granted to us through the prayers of many. It's easy to assume that problems in biblical days were nothing like ours. So what can a first century missionary possibly teach us about the adversity we face in the year 2022? Though the Apostle Paul's culture was quite different from ours, some things were the same, like temptation, hardship, and sin. Satan was a threat then, as he is today. Therefore, when the Apostle wrote of being burdened beyond his strength, he had experience to back up his words. Though Paul may have despaired even of life, he believed God would sustain him during difficult seasons. As Jesus taught, divine strength can overcome worldly tribulations. That isn't to say that those of us who are believers can avoid all sorrow and pain, but we know the Lord will meet our needs in every heartache and trial. Our faith grows stronger when we trust Him in times of affliction. God's strength is available to all believers, and we experience it when we confess our weakness and inadequacy. Sometimes a troubled soul has only enough stamina left to admit, Father, I absolutely cannot. If you don't, it's simply not going to happen. And that's okay, because in this mindset, we surrender ourselves to God. And as we wait, we're in a good position to watch Him keep His promise. <music> 